how do you gain confidence in sales? Well, I've been doing sales for over 10 years and built multiple six and seven figure businesses centered around sales. So I know a thing or two about it, which is why today I'm going to give you the precise step-by-step -step process to go from beginner to advanced in sales. So you always know exactly what to say and do to close high ticket deals like these with ease. By the end of this video, you're going to have the precise map for building confidence in your ability to get sales even if you've never closed a deal before so you can go out there and start closing high ticket deals before we get started don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of the strategies and tactics i use to build real online businesses and comment below any questions at all that you have for me and i'll personally answer you in an upcoming video now let's get started whether it be selling software b2b services or consumer products there is a major problem with how most people view sales the gurus today will tell you that you need to be the alpha, a dragon, or in some kind of competition with your potential client, and you need to win a battle to get a sale. The problem with this is it makes you think that you need to go in there with some magic tactics to trick the prospect into purchasing. This way of thinking never works. Destroying objections and eliminating obstacles might have its place when it comes to selling little trinkets, but in the world of high ticket sales, where we're dealing with you know $1,000, $10,000, even $100,000 deals, this approach simply does not work. In fact, this approach was pretty easily disproved with a large scale study of 35,000 calls at Fortune 500 companies by Neil Rackman and Co where they found objection handling and similar techniques had no effect on whether a deal would be closed in high ticket situations. This is because in order for a sale to take place you simply need to build a deeper understanding of your prospects goals and build a good reasons case around problems and solutions. That's great news because it means all we need to do to close high ticket sales consistently is have a good enough understanding of our prospects problems and our solutions to those problems. If you follow the straightforward process of preparation I'm going to reveal, you'll have total confidence in every sales situation you enter and avoid embarrassment and awkwardness that plague most salespeople's calls unfortunately. The process of preparation you're going to follow is all centered around spin selling which uses questions to guide your prospect towards the sale. I'm going to give you some examples with explainer videos as the service being sold. First, we are going to work out situation questions which help you to understand the buyer's current situation so you can gather information about their situation to see how you can help. Use the information that they've given you to ask further questions to gather information on the current situation. You're going to use this information to qualify them and use it as a weapon to cause pain with. An example of a situation question could be, could you break down your current marketing and sales strategy for me? Next is problem questions. We're going to probe for problems that your buyer is facing. You want to identify problems the buyer faces that your product solves. Figure out where they are not satisfied with their current solutions and if they don't think anything is a problem, ask what they think the problem could be. You know, Ask questions that could go way over people's heads, find specific problems your prospect faces that your product solves and then you have implication questions which focus on the problems that you've discovered and showing why they need to be solved, e.g. you know why they're important and urgent. So an example of a problem question would be what are the biggest challenges, disadvantages or how with that strategy right now based on the last question we had okay now once you discover some problems you want to explore the causes and effects of those problems with implication questions implication questions focus on the problems that you've discovered and showing why they need to be solved e.g. are important and urgent find problems and attach them to tangible outcomes if they can't think of an implication for typical problems you should be prepared with some okay an example of an implication question would be do you think problem could be hurting conversions for example. Now that you've discovered some problems and implications you can get into the need payoff. This is where you define the problem and offer your solution. Need payoff questions bring your client to conclude how your service can actually solve their problem. What solving the problem is going to mean. You want to attach tangible and easy gains or very tangible consequences. After you define the problem based on the previous answers you can then get them to state why they need your solution you know with a question like the Following. What benefits do you want to see from an ideal solution? So to build confidence in your abilities as a salesperson, you should come prepared with a script full of potential problems and solutions and the questions that bring those out of your prospect so you can lead them closer to realizing they need your solution and they need it now. But being prepared in and of itself is not going to help you gain confidence. At the end of the day, that just comes from repetition. But if you don't put in the work to prepare a solid script and sharpen the blade by improving that script over time with each and every 
call you do, then you'll always feel the same. Confidence itself actually, you know, takes effort because it comes from repetition of action. Then looking back and reviewing the action to take learning lessons that you can implement into the future action that you take. So the most important thing that you can do to gain confidence and not flat out embarrass yourself on your calls is to prepare for the call by doing your research on your prospects, understanding what problems your solution can solve, and coming to the sales conversation with all the questions you need to bring out those problems and get your prospect to realize that you have the solution for them. That's how you gain confidence in sales and avoid embarrassment and awkwardness. Now listen, the video is not over yet. If you want to get more help in terms of a course, coaching or community for drop servicing, then click the link in the description to learn more. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and hit the notification bell right now so you don't miss out on any more strategies and tactics to help you make money online. And comment below any questions you have for me and I'll personally answer you. Now, I recommend you check out this video here you see on screen if you want to go deeper. Let's talk over in the next video.